Hey astrology lovers, it's your astrologer Julia Mijas with my life coach Luna and we're here to tell you what the hell is going on for September. Luna and I are passionate about astrology and if you love astrology too, then subscribe so you won't miss out on any of the cosmic goodies. Get ready for some cosmic squirreliness because Mercury, the planet of communication and mentation, goes retrograde in Libra on the 10th. Mercury goes retrograde about three times a year and these can be super annoying three-week cycles where you might run into technical snafus like your phone or computer going on the fritz and you should watch out for any miscommunications in your partnership, which are ruled by Libra. Your schedule, sense of order, and routines might all go highwire, and you might need to review and rethink some strategies in your life, especially where you have Libra in your chart. If you're traveling now, get to the airport early and expect there to be tons of of issues and delays along the way. On September 16th, Neptune will be exactly opposed the Sun, which means that it's going to be closest to us on planet Earth. While you can't see Neptune with the naked eye, if you have a telescope, then it's going to be a lot more visible. When any planet is closest to Earth, its influence over us becomes magnified. Neptune is the planet of compassion, altruism, fantasy, and intuition, though it also rules confusion, delusion, and disappointment. Wow. Neptune is an ego-denying planet, so in order to access its higher purpose, we need to engage with things that serve more than our own ego. This can be a fascinating time for doing service work, donating to charity, and pursuing a spiritual path. However, be mindful that you could face some serious delusions about your own motivations and life directions, or disappointment in something not working out that you are way too idealistic over. We've got a new moon in Libra coming up on September 25th. If new moons are times of new beginnings, you might start something around there that involves another person, or a puppy, like your spouse, business partner, or best friend. On the same day, Jupiter is exactly opposed to the Sun, and it's going to be the most visible in the sky that it is all year. When planets are opposed to the Sun, then they tend to get a lot stronger, and we can feel them more prominently in our lives. It looks like there's going to be a lot of unbridled enthusiasm around this nation, and even some luck in accomplishing whatever you want to do. However, Jupiter retrograde can take things too far, so make sure your idealism has a reality check first. Hey Libra, we've got that big, bright, full moon lighting up your sixth house of work, health, and routines on the 10th. You may face some confusion and disorder in your workplace because nebulous Neptune is also close by. There may be miscommunications with your coworkers, clients, customers, and boss that might require some going back and straightening out. You also might be feeling more fatigued at this time, so try to put some healthy habits back in your life. Mercury also goes retrograde at the same time and it's happening in your first house of self. No matter how clear you try to be with other people at work, you just feel misunderstood. You also might be thinking about changing your appearance in some way too. There's a cosmic concentration in your first house of self and appearance as the new moon shines here on the 25th. You could start a new cycle of activity related to yourself and your body. Maybe you're finding a better way to take care of yourself. You may want to make some changes to your appearance or maybe you're interested in more personal growth. A powerful Jupiter in Aries opposes this lunation, so you may get some positive feedback from your partner or someone you hire for advice like a therapist. This can also be a really nice time for dating too. Thanks for watching. Luna and I had a blast and we hope you did too. If you want to see more of us, then hit that subscribe button below before you say goodbye.